Indiana. They played a great game. They had a great game plan. Um, you know, I think it, it frustrated Caitlin at times. Um, we, you know, we we um, didn't have an answer for Sarah Scalia. She was really good tonight. She was really good. And give her credit, she played really well today. But um, you know, we just uh, we didn't we didn't play very well tonight. But again, I want to give all the credit to Indiana. I thought they played a great game. Coach, is it the same defense you faced against them the last time? No. Caitlin, very rare that you have a game like this. What is it that Indiana did so well, especially in the second half? I think being physical, um, you know, face guarding me, denying the ball, um, threw a lot of different people at me. Um, yeah, but just very physical. I think that was that was the main thing and Kind of pushed me off my spots, got me out a little deeper than I wanted to be, and uh, threw a little box and one at us. Um, other than that, played mostly man to man, but uh, yeah, I'd say just physicality and um, denying me the ball. Um, yeah. Lisa, um, when when they're selling out so much to stop Kaylin, are there things you can do to counter that? Is it just a matter of you know other people hitting shots, or how do you kind of deal with that? Yeah, I mean, Gabby Marshall's one for two from three. I'd take that any day, um, but she's got more than two shots. I mean, she shot 50% from three-point range, so that's pretty good. Um, you know, we need to get her the ball more, you know. We had other people shoot the ball well. Addison O'Grady was 60%. Uh, Sydney was 66%. Um, so, yeah, it's, it's we have to have other people shoot the ball, you know. Lisa, what did you think went wrong on the offensive end tonight? It felt like at times there were some rushed possessions, some, some possessions that were out of sorts. Was that you know physicality from them? Was that the defense they ran? Was that something that you guys were doing? Just kind of what did you see go wrong on the offensive end tonight? All the above, Kyle. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Caitlin, I think this is really the only game, I'm sorry, dude, all season where it's really, it felt like you guys were kind of like battling, running up the sure. whole game, but you really haven't had that. Um, you've talked about why that is, but what do you sort of take away from that um, to going forward? Honestly, like I give our girls a lot of credit. I thought we fought. You know, nobody ever gave up or and hung our heads. And um, you know, this is a great environment to come and play basketball. Our crowd was incredible. Um, it's fun to play basketball here. And you know, once you get down, you kind of just you've got to start taking some shots that maybe you wouldn't really take necessarily. And um, I thought we maybe could have drove to the basket basket a little bit more. Um, but yeah, I, I wouldn't say we're really, you know, a team that plays from behind very much, but I will give us some credit. I thought we, you know, we kept battling, especially when they started the third quarter pretty well. We kind of came back. I think we cut it to eight was the closest we got it. And, um, you know, we got to give credit to our girls. Like, I thought we just fought, um, but they always responded and had an answer, so. Yeah, Caitlin, you had an exchange with values bench in the second quarter. Was that something they were saying to you or something that you thought they were saying to the officials? What kind of what led to that moment? Um, you know, Basketball is competitive. That's what it's all about. Um, you know, I think IU does a tremendous job. Their coaches do a tremendous job, and that's what makes basketball fun. Um, but you know, Terry said some very nice things to me after the game, and I have nothing but respect for their program and what she's been able to do here, and the players that she's been able to, you know, develop. Um, I played a lot of, I guess, a, re a lot of really good IU players. So um, you know, I have all, all the respect in the world for them. Was this as heated of a matchup as you guys have had in your career, Gunter? Yeah, I think every battle is heated. You know, when you're playing against the top teams in the Big Ten, and you know, one loss, one win can switch up the standings and switch up, you know, battling for a regular season title. That's, you know, that's exactly how it should be. That's exactly what women's basketball should be. Um, you know, it should be heated. It should be that way. And that just is because people care so much and people are so passionate about winning. Um, and that's what makes it so fun. Kaylin, hey, on your right, I know you got a big taste of what Indiana basketball is and how much they love women's basketball in general. I know there's still a lot of season left, but the Beaver have the number one overall pick. What do you like about that team, and what do you love about what Lynn Dunn and Christy Sides are doing here? You know, honestly, I'm just focused on this team right now. Um, you know, playing my heart out for Iowa and getting to represent my state every single day, and that's what it's all about. And um, you know, I'm not really too worried about the future. That, that is what it is. It comes when it comes, whatever I decide. But, um, you know, I go game by game. Move, I got to learn from this. I got to move on. And then we got a really good Illinois team at home. So uh, we got to get ready for that. Uh, Lisa, the, the defense was a key to winning this against Indiana at home. What happened, what happened here? 
Were you pleased with your defense here? No, I think the tape will tell a little bit on that. Um, I, I, again, we did not have an answer for Scalia. I mean, she really did a great job running off screens, getting her feet set. She set her screens up really well. Um, and then when we closed out hard, she beat us off the bounds. I mean, she, she really, really played well, I thought. Caitlin, um, in the second row, um, when you just talk about Indiana just being more physical, I guess how much do you look at that as a controllable, and how do you kind of flip that to be more the more physical team? Yeah, I think you can always be physical back. I think you have to, you know, I think I could have set up and used cuts a little better, I think. Um, and you just got to be careful, too, uh, being physical back. But um, I think it starts on the defensive end for us. Like, be physical, get in passing lanes, um, things like that. But, you know, they were just tenacious. Obviously, it, it helps when there's 17,000 people screaming for you. <laughs> that never kills anybody. So um, I think it's something we're obviously capable of. It's something we've done really all season long. So, um, you know, there's nothing for us to really hang our head about. It's just go back and learn. and. You know, move on. You can't solve about it one loss. That's not really how this works. Thanks, guys.